you know, the, uh, what I liked about Rush is that he really was very good humored with me mm-hmm. and let me spar yeah, with like him. That. You uh-huh. know, can you imagine $38 million a year? Wow. But as he says, he's worth oh, it. Oh, yeah, he's worth okay. every cent. So, so <laughs> <laughs> you know I what? He's got, he's got the viewership. <laughs> He's got the viewership. No okay, listener. so let us just show you a little part of, of our sparring, okay? Uh-huh. I want to quote something you said. Does the country actually want to watch a woman get older before their eyes on a daily basis? You said this about Hillary Clinton. Yes. You have watched me get older on a daily basis. Sarah Palin, whom you love, is going to get older on a daily basis. Men get older on a daily basis. What's with you, Rush? (laughs) You know, the context... (laughs) I never thought I'd be sitting here doing a number with you. The, The context of the statement was how unfair our culture is to aging women versus aging men. You weren't fighting our battle. I was. No. I meant it as a comment on our culture in a sympathetic way. I will let that go. Liar. (laughs) Liar. I couldn't tell if you were going to to slap each other or kiss. He almost never does does interviews, so it was great. Great yes. fun to do. I mean, we, there were other things that he we... He was getting a little uh, hot yeah. under the collar with oh, you. Wow. you it looks Zoo Manor on television. That's why he's on radio. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's my door. I mean, you know what, Barbara? When... I just have to say, he was a good sport. I appreciated his coming on with us. He is entertaining. Yeah. Well, what he said, though, we, you know, he, he compared <laughs> so the, the ageism. He, he used a lot of... I was reading... Uh, I was reading... Um, the, the transcript, transcript, and he used a lot of comparisons to Hollywood, and I don't know, we've never had a woman who've, who's gotten so far that we could make that, that we could say that. Me? About, no, no, I'm sorry, in, in politics. politics. I'm talking, no, politics. no, no, just, Barbara, I'm talking about um, in politics. I, I think your point, Sherry, is one that's important. I think it, in his transcript, he was, it was more of a social commentary on how, you know, we are obsessed with looks and aging and, and weight, and, you know, it is True. more difficult for right. a woman. We've had actors come on that's and say they have a hard doing. time no, getting come roles. On. Come on, he was, he was doing what he does. He, did, he, he does not. I, I not only will read the transcript, I listen to him. I yeah. listen to him on a daily basis, and I'm telling you. Was he was being, commentary. yes, he was, and he was being a little crappy. Come sexist. on. He was, no, forget so, the sex. Right he was being crappy, yes. He called her several other names that were not attractive. Oh, Hil- you're talking Hillary? Um, yeah. Oh, well, and it, and it, when, when it comes to Hillary Clinton, he was being a, a not a very nice man about it. Yeah. You know That's all I'm, I'm saying. saying. You but you know what else he said about Hillary? Hillary? We don't tolerate aging well in this country anymore. That's not we what he was talking about. Absolutely true. He also said about Hillary that he thought it was such a wise decision of Barack Obama to make because now he took her out of the running for president. But he also said that that, that a lot of what he says is true because, but in this particular environment where people are losing their jobs and we're worried about the wars on two fronts and all this other stuff, looks don't matter as much. Or Sarah Palin would have won the award for, would have won the election for John McCain. But remember, Madeleine Albright, when you see her, she's not a beautiful woman and she's getting older, but you say that woman has gravitas, she knows what she's talking about. But he would agree with you. He would agree with you. We are a look-obsessed society. We are a look-obsessed society. And he made that... knows that. I mean, he's not saying anything new. He made that very clear. Because that's why... 38 million for that comment. But that's one of the reasons we chose in this one of the 10 most fascinating people. He is way fascinating. Well, he's controversial.